Okay, continuing on with this Nubit board arcade and the micro bit or make code. I'm showing you this program and how to download it on this video. I'm going to unplug this uh, power pack. It's just a, a battery bank. I had it plugged into the micro bit itself. I could have plugged this cable into this port right here on the uh, new bit. The only difference is that you have to have the switch turned on when you have your power plugged in to the uh, to this port on the new bit. There's also a way to use one of these batteries plugged into the back of the new bit. Now, how to download. Let's start with plugging the micro bit into our USB. It does not have to be in the new bit. I don't want to scan for viruses. X out of that window. Here's the program. The first step is to go to this gear icon. Gear. We want to go down to the lowest entry called About. Click on that. Experiments. Click on Experiments. Enabled. Experimental Hardware. Now we're going to do go back. Now we can download. If I click save, it's going to save as a PNG file. That's a picture file. But it has the data in it for this program and it will be in my downloads as a PNG file. I don't need to save it. If I click choose hardware, I need to choose N3, N3 hardware, based on NRF 52833. Click on that. Now I can download, and you'll see that it will not download to my micro bit. In this particular case, on my computer, it downloads to my download folder. I need to click done. I found out if I don't click that, sometimes it's not completely downloaded or configured or something. Now I can do show in folder. Now my micro bit shows up right here. Here's the D drive micro bit on my computer. Now I can drag, oh, notice that the, uh, PNG file right here was the saved file. Time of day, 3.34 p.m. Time of day, 3.35 p.m. So you know that we're talking about the same file that we wanted, not one that was downloaded earlier today. I'm going to drag this HEX file onto Microbit. Now it's copying onto Microbit. Just like any other HEX Microbit file. Now, notice that I'm just going to X out of this because it's, I don't need it now. If we had written this program in Arcade, which we did, and downloaded it to one of these other boards, these arcade boards, we would need this program to be a UF2 file. But with the micro bit, it has to be a hex file. So you'll know you did it right when you see the hex file in that, in your downloads. Again, here's the new bit, shows you how to download right here, programming tutorial. 
here is the purchase page for this new bit and all of the programming for it description of the hardware right here tutorials two of them we've only looked at the game we haven't looked at the remote controller we have used this other kitten bot game console for arcade called Meowbit as a controller it's got the same um, micro bit edge connector as this one but we're using version 2 micro bit not version 1 not like this one but version 2 you'll know that because it's got the notches under these alligator clip holes there'll be more to come